All right, welcome back. <clears throat> now we're hitting this looking ahead quest. We're at this military academy. So I knew there's gonna be a quest or something tied to this academy because if you look, I only have 50% of the stuff collected in this area, and you can see what's, what's what you need to collect in here. But there's stuff in the military academy, which is this banner and this cat that I couldn't get because I cannot. You, you just could not get in there. There's no opening to get in there. Usually there's an opening to get in places. There's no opening to get in there. So like this must be locked behind a quest. If it's locked like that, it has to be locked behind a quest. And lo and behold, it definitely is. So let's get to it. Impressive. I wasn't expecting you quite that quick. Truth is, we're being graced with the Shogun's presence today. He's here to observe a little martial arts competition. You'll watch too, won't you? Good. I'll show you inside. This is the shooting range where they teach Tuckers. It's like a shooting range in here. So that, that's probably gonna unlock for these changing times. that I, I wind up using. The, shoot, the shooting one, it's kind of easier to get the max stuff on. The shooting one and the horseback one are kind of like, they're a little easier to get uh, max on. Here's where they practice horseback archery. Yep, so I'm probably gonna get those two. They'll start learning Western horsemanship too. The, uh, the gliding one is pretty difficult, and the dojo one is pretty difficult. Like I still haven't mastered the dojo one. But it's been converted for the competition. I believe the shogun should already be here. Yeah, I, I've done all the. I, I've gotten the master and I got the trophy for all the rest of them. There's only one I gotta get trophy for, and it's the dojo one. Like I, I can't get 100 percent on it. Like I'm just, I'm not good at uh, reflecting attacks and stuff like that. Is what it is. All right, Ryoma, what's up? I am gonna join them. You gotta tell me. Ah, you're finally here. I asked if you could enter the competition, by the way. I knew it, I knew it! I knew that's exactly what you'd say. I heard the Shogun himself will give you your prize if you win three matches. Can't say the prize isn't appealing. But honestly, I really just want to meet the Shogun in person. They gotta get me a new TV. My, my, my old TV, oh, like, legit died, right? don't me? To the point where, like, it just stopped turning on. So I bought a new TV, just awesome out on Facebook Marketplace. Like, this is just a TV they have. But it's a Westington TV. And Westington, if you know about it, it's not, like, the best. It's a, they're cheap brand. This is in this. But they're not partnered with many things. They're, they're partnered with, like, Tudu and stuff like that. And I think, like, Netflix and YouTube, that's it. You can't even download other apps on a TV, so that way you can have other stuff. So I'm probably gonna get me a, another a LG or something like that, because LG I can just download whatever I want. So I can download Crunchyroll and all that stuff. Right now I got my Switch plugged into my TV just so I can freaking watch Crunchyroll and things like that, and it's kind of annoying. It's only annoying because like I have to have a whole separate console just to watch things because of that. What? Um, um, must be using wooden come weapons. Again. Okay. Why? Why did? Why did you send me off just to come back over here? Let's go. Let's do this. With your skills, you can't lose. Just go mop the floor with them. His name is Teshu Yamalka. We use the same dueling style, and he's very good at it. Oh Jesus! It's about to be difficult. He's known to be a tough one. They say he can pierce steel with a wooden sword. Which is crazy, by the way. Piercing yeah, steel with a wooden sword. I mean, it must be a remember. thickly made wooden Make sword, or the, his his skill with a sword is just ridiculous. If he pulls the blicky out on me, it, I'm I'm coming at him for real. Nah, but I ain't gonna lose. I'm about to put on my my paralyzing chain and I'm, I'm gonna freaking eat one of my little potions, my my, my pills. Cheating in the jank for sure. I think I discussed with y'all before. You see that sitting position they was all in? I think I discussed with y'all before why that position is there. It's clear you are a skilled warrior. 
Let's begin. Damn, nigga, that was, that was a lot of hits. Get shit out of here, bro. So many hits. Oh, he, 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 get, he get off the paralyze really quick. Damn. Oh, I'm, I'm outstanding. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. He attacks so fast. And there's so many attacks. That's, that's the biggest thing about it. Oof. Damn it! I can't time his text. He does. He does so many, so many, so many faints. Like I, I can't even. My character can't even recover from his attacks because they hit me. So, they hit me so quick and stuff. Poor showing. I must train harder. All right, so I'm probably I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna have more than one opponent. Ah, I knew you could do it. How are you feeling about the next match? Of course, that's just good. Who's my opponent? Deju Takahashi, the stepbrother of the man you just fought. Oh, great. He's a master of the Jito Kuin Ryu, and is so respected for his skill with the spear. He was appointed governor of Issei Province. All right, let's do this. Good. Not, we're not gonna use the uh, paralyzed because that doesn't even matter. We'll skip that. We already know what's happening. They're gonna bow. But I think I explained to y'all one time before of why they sit on their knees like that. Oh, bro. And that's because, oh, oh. the Shogun, way back. I can't remember what, sh bro. I can't remember what Shogun it was. Okay, I, I thought I, I thought I definitely uh. Okay, okay, I'm getting my ass beat right now. I'm trying to time his, his stuff. I can't remember what Shogun it was, but one the, the Shogun. Okay, I thought it was another attack. The Shogun a long time ago was scared to be assassinated. To the point where he made it so that everybody, when they came to see him, they, they basically had to kneel on their knees the entire time. And the reason why he did this was because your legs would fall asleep from kneeling for so long, so people weren't able to assassinate him. Okay, so we got another one. Made it this far. Now you just need to win your next fight. Well, by me, I'm your opponent. By the name of Shigoro Kano, they call him a genius of jujutsu. He's still just a kid, but underestimate him at your peril. The essence of jujutsu is that the gentle can defeat the strong. But what that really means is they can throw a guy twice their size across the room. Oh, this dude pipes with his hands. He probably fights with his hand. Win this last match and the prize is yours. I know you can do this. Oh, this dude really is a kid. But you probably about to, about to monster me up with his jujitsu. Oos. That's what he. That's what he's hit with. Oos. Let neither side hold back. Oh my gosh! He just, my my, my stand was gone off one hit from him. He 
Yeah, see, the biggest thing about when you're using fists is it makes the stamina go down, like, super quick. So my stamina is gone as soon as he hits me. Nigga, I ain't gonna let you get a firm grip on me. You gonna burn, that's what you're gonna do. Putting putting fire on a wooden stick is crazy, by the way. It's absolutely f just ridiculous. I hope this was an educational experience for you too. May we spar again soon. No, nigga, stay away from me. You hear the cat in the background? Meow. You did it! The prize is ours! I saw the whole thing. A fine display. Now, how about we test those skills in one last bout? Oh boy. Now you want a piece of the action? As long as you don't make us forfeit the prize if we lose. Now, you made short work of Teshu and Deshu. This time, I think I'll start with my sword drawn. Only joking. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. But His Excellency did say he would like to witness you fight one more time. Which is why I, busy though I am, have come to make this request. Oh, and His Excellency has requested real swords for the next duel. Your opponent has already given his consent. No two ways about it, your life will be on the line. So, how about we sweeten the pot to make up for it? After all you've been through, you're not scared of real steel, are you? Just one more bout to go, my friend. Ready to go? I know you're going to... I ain't got a choice, that's good. I believe in you. <sighs> okay. Anyways, let's get this last one. Real swords. Oh, you got an Odachi. Or was that a Greek sword? It could be a Greek sword, but it might be an Odachi. I think I'm actually using the Dutch for my second weapon right now, too. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a Dutch. Bro, you can jump in the air? Yeah. I've never really used the Dutch before, but I'm going to use it for this fight. His, his attacks are so slow. That is really messing me up. Oh, my stand up are gone. Gotcha. Oh. Nah, let me go back to my to my bread and butter. Okay, I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. Okay, hold on. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me recompose myself. All right, let's do this. What the hell? I'm too hard to bust. Yes, that's what I expected. This nigga doing magic attacks. Why did I do my get that shit out of here? You're done, bro. You're done. You're done. I don't know what I was in. I was I was on the I was on S game mode on that one when that, with, with those blocking that was going on. Is he bald under there? Oh no, he's got a little shogun haircut probably. You certainly showed me that forehead crazy. 
Hey, I know you. We met in Yoshiwara. <laughs> Mistaken identity, I am sure. Just the archer. I am Yoshinobu Tokugawa, the Shogun. What? The Shogun? Are you serious? <laughs> Seems I let the cat out of the bag. We had no intention of disrespecting you, uh, Your Excellency. See, hey, where are your manners? No That's one of the things I don't like. I hate it. I'm, I, I read a lot of manhwas and stuff. Invigorating. Invigorating? Indeed. I mean, you dodged the shuriken. Finding warriors like you is no easy feat. Ah, the next bout. With the warriors of this caliber. Yeah, uh, Japan, Japan, Korea, China, a bunch of Asian countries, obviously old English and everything else. They all had these hierarchies that was there. And I really like a part, a big part of me, like really dislikes all of that in the way that was formed. Because it was kind of retarded. Like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm reading uh, models and stuff like that, and it's talking about how, let's say we're all brothers. Like, there's there's four of us. There's four brothers and the king. So one of us, the firstborn, is probably going to be the crown prince. So he's the next in line to be king. The last brother is going to get treated like crap the whole time because, like, he's so far away from the throne that he's treated like, like ish. But at the same time, he's still in line for the throne because he's a, a direct descendant of the king. So he's able to go fight for the throne. But the way these princes are raised, they're not necessarily raised as like just strictly brothers. They're raised as competitors. And I think that's crazy. It's like I can't even enjoy the company of my brothers because my brother might be trying to murder me so I can not fight him for the crown for the crown. And that's like that. That's like that. And that was like that in Japan and Korea and the English and stuff like that. And then you might have like sub families, like your cousins and uncles and stuff, your cousins and your uncle and like cousins from that. And all of them could be in line for the throne, too. So now they're trying to kill you, too. So your whole family is trying to kill you just so they can be in line with the throne because people are that greedy to rule that it goes that way. And I, I just think that is crazy. Back then it was, and it, during that time frame, it was probably it was, it was normal, but it's just crazy to think about. And I don't like the fact that it's like people of higher status think they're supposed to be treated a certain way just because they have higher status. Like you've done nothing to earn that status or to earn respect, but you immediately think you should be treated that way and other people get punished for not treating you that way. And, it's, and that's kind of crazy too. But I ramble on that. But the quest is done, so we are good anyways. All right. So that was it for that quest. Which is, the next quest is a show for the Shogun. We, we just did a show for the Shogun, technically. So looking ahead, was just done. It kind of morphed into a show for the Shogun. And now there's a second part to it. So we'll get to that in the next video. I appreciate y'all tagging along. For y'all on YouTube, if you get subscribed, if you're not subscribed, leave your boy a comment if you feel inclined to. And hit put a uh, hit a like on this jank if you if you really, really like this. And turn that notification bell on. I mean, it costs you nothing to do those things. And it, it helps me out. It helps my channel. It helps more people see us. So, hey, I appreciate you all do that. And I'll catch you in the next one.